Hey guys, so I just got out of the shower and I'm getting ready for bed, but I thought what a great time to play with my bags a little bit and show you what I've bought recently because I know I haven't been posting consistently. Okay. I'm so excited. So it's been a while. Sorry, I've had one of these two bags I'm about to show you for a while and both of these bags I got pre-loved. I think with the rising prices, it just makes more sense to go the pre-love route. And for these two bags in particular, I feel like they're not, they're not Chanel's and they don't really hold their value as well as I think they should, which is why I was able to get them on a discount. The first bag that I want to show you is a mini version of something that I already bought. Not a lot of people know this, not a lot of people care, <laughs> but I bought the mini size first and I was like, this is a perfect size. I should just keep buying minis before I got the small. And here's the dust bag. I got the mini Lady Dior in this gorgeous patent green. It's funny because when I was shopping for a mini Lady Dior, I was always drawn to the cherry patent color. I just think, oh my God, that's so gorgeous. So the reason why I got this one instead was because I just see so much more of the patent red out there. I don't really see a lot of these this green color and I thought it was such a gorgeous emerald green and it was in perfect condition. I don't know who sold this back to Fashion File, but like, they kept everything. Like the receipt, the dust bag, the little bag for the charms, the authenticity card, and all the, the tissue paper that came with a bag. It was just very well preserved. And even the hardware, some of the hardware had plastic on it still. So I don't think this person ever took this bag out. But lucky for this bag, I've already taken it out multiple times. Thank you very much. I just think it's such a cute size and it's very easy to grab on the go and if you're like going to a wedding you don't want to carry something too big super cute i'm just reaching to show you the strap so this is the strap that comes with the mini lady dior this is the newer version you can tell because the older version is all leather the newer version has this like gorgeous shiny gold hardware and it has these buckles at the end that's cd on them Okay, so going back to the bag, I think the key complaint you hear with the mini Lady Dior is just how freaking annoying this opening is. Because in order to get stuff in and out, you kind of have to reach your hand in there, flip the flap out. And what I typically end up doing is I would just leave the flap unfolded like this. It looks kind of gross. I don't want to mess around with my bags too much. I don't want to like spend too much time taking my wallet out of the bag, you know? And a lot of the times if I put this down, what I notice is I'll take my wallet out and never put it back in. So I'm literally just holding an empty bag, which is really annoying and I hate doing that. It just makes me feel like, why am I even spending money on these things? But for me, having a bag this pretty is worth some of the pain. Maybe that'll change in a few years, who knows? Anyways, the inside of the bag, you can't really see it, but it's a microfiber lining, which I think is consistent with the newer versions of this bag. Um, and I wanted to do a quick what I can fit in here. So this is the wallet I've been using. And if you watch my other videos, you know, this is my most recent obsession. I bought it off of AliExpress for like $20 and it's such good quality. I'm just gonna, let me show you what this is again. Like if you haven't seen the other videos, it reminds me of the Hermes bag. It has this beautiful like grain leather and I think it's a gray blue color. It has this leather strap that threads through this button in the front. And once you open it up, you get this uh, one giant compartment for all your cards. And you have this little front pocket as well. And then there's a back pocket too. Like what more can you ask for? I don't know what everyone else's preference on wallets are, but I feel like Big wallets have had their moments and people are drifting to smaller wallets and I always love compact wallets, wallets that are primarily made for cards. So I will carry cash here and there, but I normally get the most uses out of my card holder wallets. So they're great, highly recommend. I'll probably leave a link down below if I can find it. So this has no problem going to the, this bag, obviously. Here's a key pouch, which is a Louis Vuitton six ring key pouch. I love this. Honestly, I have both this and the key clay, but I prefer this one so much more because it doesn't have the keys hanging out of the, the leather part. So this actually protects the keys from shrinking my bags. Whereas the other one, if you use it as a card holder, there's really no room for your key to fit inside. So 
Um, I would highly recommend this one over the other. Okay, key holders on top, wallet on bottom. I will put in this little lip gloss that I got from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Well, I got it at Sephora, but I wanted something like shimmery. I, for some reason, started really liking the lip glossy look again. Here, let me just put it on since I'm already here. Um, and it had that really strong vanilla scent that came with every glossy lipstick I bought in middle school. So this is like a time traveling mechanism for me. I'm like, ooh, I'm still young. <laughs> weird because I'm not wearing makeup at all. That also fits in there. You can see. Okay, let's put in my AirPods. They're at the bottom. And then I could probably fit in my sunglasses case if I wanted to, but I would have to get this out of the pouch and get a slimmer pouch. But normally when I carry mini bags, it's very hard for me to justify taking this whole thing when there's already limited space. So what I end up doing is just leaving the sunglasses on my head. And the other thing I was gonna say that probably could fit on top of everything that I was showing you, it's like one of these like portable chargers. I love this one. This is from Anchor. Um, I love Anchor products. They're very well made. They're on Amazon. You can get them and they come in black and white. Mine is in black. So once this is in, you get a pretty full bag. I don't know if you can see because the bag is like, my portable charger is black. So it's right up front. And it's, it's pretty heavy, I would say, like much heavier than my other bags. What I also love about the mini size is the feet. Like, do you see how stable these are? They're flat studs. I wish they did this for the small bag as well, but what can you do? It's just, it is what it is, right? I will put it away later, but I wanted to show you the second bag that I got, which is going to be controversial if you see my other video um, on this Celine bag that's very similar. So it's like, why do I need to? But I don't know. I don't know what happened. I just got greedy and I was like, ooh, I want that one too. So it's a Celine Ava bag. Here is the bag. I just, I love it. The clutch on strap bag is still really cute. I still really like it. But for me, it requires a lot more planning to use that bag because as you saw in my other review video, that bag does not fit a regular compact wallet. You need to really switch to a slimmer card holder to carry that bag. And I'm just too lazy. And I, I don't know, I don't, I don't, <laughs> Most of the time I'm not planning. I'm just like running out for errands. I want something really fast. So I thought it would be perfect to get a bag with just like a giant hole in the middle that you can just throw whatever you want in it. And I really wanted a shoulder bag. I don't have something that's like a lot bigger where I can just throw stuff inside. So I, when I saw it on Poshmark and I saw it at a pretty good discount to retail, that's when I got it. Get the receipt from the person I bought this from and she or he bought it. So they bought it in November, 2020. And this bag was 12.50. So I got it slightly below that price, which is so good compared to where this bag retails. And it's in perfect condition. Like I know there's like some sinkage, whatever you want to call it here, but I feel like that's bound to happen with these the bags that are shaped like this. And when I bought this bag, I know there's like multiple versions of this bag. There's the newer version and there's like the, the leather version, but I really just wanted a monogram one because I feel like I wear solid colors a lot. So this will get some pattern incorporated into my outfits, which will be super cute. The other thing that I don't want to mess with is just like this strap. I try to adjust the strap. It's so damn hard. I don't, I don't know how people do it. And I was like, whatever, I think I'm just going to leave it at the longest, right? It looks fine. And it's more than enough room for me to like put it on and off my shoulder and there's so much room in here. Let me show you what this bag actually looks like. It is just one giant black hole and I'm sure you've seen other reviews of this bag before. Is it worth $1,500? No, I think you should buy a second hand. Um, sorry, Celine, love you, but like the inside is canvas. Like, what do you expect? And like, the inside is fabric and the outside is canvas. The only thing that's leather is the strap and the piping. So I would definitely buy this second hand if I can. Let's see what fits. Here's the wallet. Yay. Here is the key pouch. Perfect. Here's the AirPods. The two lipsticks. The portable charger. And sunglasses. Yeah. So I sure this will close just fine. Yeah. It's a little tight. It definitely looks a little puffy, but it fits so much. I just, I think that's what I like about it. It's like, it's a small bag. It's deceiving. You don't think it fits a lot, but it literally fits all your essentials. So here's the second bag. I highly recommend it. 
I don't think I'll get rid of this one. If I could pick only one bag out of the two I showed you today, it would be this one, hands down. And maybe I would get the mini version of this bag. It's like, how many selenium bags do I need? A hundred. But I think it's just very practical, very cute, and it's so understated. One thing I will note is, since I've been hunting for this bag on the secondary market, I actually have seen this bag in passing so many times. So if you're someone that doesn't want to have the same bag as everyone else, then maybe the Lady Dior is better for you. But again, it's just like two bags of very different price points. I will definitely get more use out of the Celine bag just because it's so casual and easy and low maintenance. Whereas this one, I feel like I have to be very careful. That's it for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining me as I prep for bed. I hope you enjoyed the video. I would really appreciate it if you subscribed or liked or commented. And I will try to post more regularly. Good night.